my husband. He put eggs in um his tuna, like a boiled egg, and it is so good. I never had it like this before, but it's like really, really good. So that's what I'm snacking on. And this is not like a YouTube video. Like I'm not like a real YouTuber. If that makes sense, like I don't really have anything specific to say. If that helps put things in perspective. I'm just here hanging out with you. I got eight minutes to just hang out and talk. And then whatever we talk about is gonna be the title of our video. And I found on YouTube, everything is like really extreme. Like there's like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just things I look at. But this is just very lighthearted. This is just, just chilling. Sometimes you just want to chill. And yeah, we are just chilling. <clears throat> I had a nightmare a couple days ago, like a total nightmare. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it scared me straight. Like I used to kind of blame a lot of things I'm not doing and that I wanted to do um, on the fact that I have two really young children. <laughs> Or, you know, I didn't have the support and all of our family is in New York. So I don't have anyone to like just give me a break with the kids or, you know, have this or that. Any, anywho, I had a bunch of excuses and I still do. But um, it, I had a dream that just scared me straight. And I just realized, you know, you have it all. Like you have to discipline yourself. You have to push yourself because I've in my dream, it just revealed that I was just in a, such a safe place. You know, if... If, if some sort of chaotic thing was to happen, I know I would kick into a higher gear, a higher gear of working out, a higher gear of, you know, making money, a higher gear of really taking care of my kids in a better way. And like, I thought I was doing a good job before, but after that, in my, in, in my dream, I changed. Like when the chaos was happening, I started working out, I started doing this, I started doing that. And pretty much my kids were kidnapped, so <laughs> in my dream. So yeah, it was just a huge motivation. I was just like, you know what? It's not that my kids are going to be kidnapped, but it's going to be like, well, you're not eating well and you're not working out. So what happens if, you know, something goes wrong with your health? Now that's chaotic. That That's going to kidnap my kids away, you know? And so... I just really started thinking about it and it just it, it just hit home and I was just like you know what I could work out so I woke up earlier today like um, about 20 minutes earlier my kid wakes up at 5 to breastfeed so I was up at 5 and I made it happen I really did make it happen even if it was just for a few minutes and um, you know I want to do this whole YouTube thing but gosh I don't have time to do it. I'm eating. Like, I'm eating my food. <laughs> this is my break. Oh my gosh. Hold on. What was I saying? I have no idea now. So, anywho, that dream scared me straight. Um, and, and I'm really thankful for it, even though it was very scary. So, I have so much things to talk about but I don't know what it is because this is like I don't know how's your day going because my day is pretty good I'm doing the Kamari method and cleaning up my closet but <laughs> I know I bought stuff so this is all five dollars y'all I'm gonna just show you my little haul while I am here my kids are um looking at baby Einstein I love Baby Einstein. I'm not going to describe these. I mean, you could kind of figure it out. That was just a shirt. <laughs> it's very plain because that's my style at this point. Plain and simple. And so I it, I guess this is a cardigan haul because, geez, don't I have cardigans? Okay, so this is a gray cardigan. Ooh, Cam Center. A white cardigan I got these at um there's a Goodwill but there's the bargain room next to my Goodwill
This is a brown one. Yeah, it's a Barker room next to my Goodwill. So they are, they weigh they weigh your your stuff. Um, and it's like a dollar per pound or something like that. Anywho, I must have paid five dollars for all of this. And of course, a, a black cardigan because. And what they do is if someone is trying on a, well, like if you try on things at the Goodwill, whatever you hang up on the rack, they take it to the bargain room. So it's pretty much stuff that people tried on that just didn't fit or they just didn't like. But, I mean, usually pick up, people pick up the good stuff. Um, so anyhow, this is such a blessing, like such a blessing. And I picked this out for, oh, I picked this out for my sister, but... <laughs> She didn't take it. Because this is like not my mommy style. You see all this pretty beady design? I love it. But um, my kids will just pick on it all day long. I think it's really pretty though. What is this? Who made this? Gabe and Gob. I, I don't know. Somebody. I think it's gorgeous. And... Do, do, do. A shirt. I love shirts. Who doesn't love shirts? And I got a very, very, very long skirt. Like a very long A cut skirt. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Anyhow, that is my haul. I got a bunch of stuff for my kids as well, but it's just stuff that they could like wear at home, like stuff to puke on and poop on. Speaking of poop, Jenny was just one years old at this point, and Ruby was probably almost two weeks old because her umbilical cord was gonna fall out soon. I just took her to the doctor. So it was time to actually give her a bath, and I was really excited about that. To give her like a real bubble bath, or not a bubble bath, but just a bath. Anywho, she pooped. You know, that's what babies do. And I went to change her. And while I was changing her, with like this explosion of a diaper, by the way, she pooped everywhere on her pack and play like like on the changing table she just pooped on the changing table everywhere so i said you know what it's no big deal i'm gonna i'm gonna give her a bath i was looking forward to giving her a bath so i'm just gonna pick her up and we can do that so i picked her up and i'm holding her kind of wiping the pack and play and i in the pack and play was all of her newborn clothing that I just washed. Like they were all new and I just all washed them and they were from the dryer and I just threw them in the pack and play because I didn't have anywhere else to put them at the point at, at this point. And she projectile poops through the mesh of the pack and play. I'm not lying. Through them into the pile of clean clothing. And I was just like I was just like, oh my gosh. So I just grabbed the, the, the only thing that I saw that was clean and I just ran up the stairs. I was just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And because I, I figured like, this is like serious. Like she she might poop again or, or I don't know what is going on, but she really needs a bath at this point, right? So I have her holding, she's still, she's still naked, holding her and I have a little... I have a little tub and I'm filling it up with water and so it's filled and then she poops again in the pile of water all over me all over the floor yeah <laughs> so and I don't know why it's like baby poop stains it's like you just can't get it out it, 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 it like stains stuff. So yeah, that explain. hopefully that explains why I don't really spend a lot of money on clothing. 
I got another bag of clothing for the kids, but I'm not gonna show that. Um, so yeah, poop stories. They never get old, do they? But those were just moments that I hate to say that it may not get better because I've asked all, all of my girlfriends. I was like, hey, does it get better when they get older? Like, do you have more time? Do you have more energy? And they're like, <laughs> that's what they tell me. So I don't know if it's going to get better as they get older. You know, I mean, the poop, the poop, the poop thing <laughs> might get better. Like they, they may like, you know. I probably won't have to deal with that, but like, you know, just, just, just the, the chaos of it all, you know, they were just like, yeah, it's really physically exhausting at this point for you, but when they're older, it's emotionally exhausting. And I'm like, I don't know which one to pick, you know, um, but yeah, those are just mom moments that really test you to test. <laughs> If that's not testing your character and your endurance level, I don't know what is. So I spent the rest of the day cleaning up everywhere. Oh my word. It's already five minutes and I'm telling you this story. I need to stop. I need to stop. Because I don't want to edit videos. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to chill. I just want to chill and I just don't have that much time. So this is all you're going to get. So thank you for just hanging out. We're just hanging and i'm just telling you you know a stressful poop story that i'm pretty sure every mom has a good poop story out there every person has a good poop story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know you do i know you do it's okay you don't have to tell me